Hiya folks, we're in a totally different kitchen today. Where are we, Sharon? I don't know. Where are we? In the Vegetastic Mum kitchen. Vegetastic Mum kitchen. Our kitchen's out of action today, folks. We've got some uh, work being done outside, so all our power off is in our house. So, Vegetastic. Power off in our house. Hey? All, power, the, all, all the power, power off in our, off in in our, our house. house. So kindly, Speak Veg Bas the Vest Queen's English. Vest oh no, it's the King's English. Vegetastic Mum has allowed us to use her kitchen. And uh, if, you find, like that. if you want to find out who Vegetastic Mum is, that's our daughter-in-law, Stacey, and she cooks some fantastic stuff, doesn't she, Sharon? Well, I don't know, I've never tried any. Oh, we have. <laughs> you have, plenty of times. Anyway, so she's let us use her kitchen, and we are making today, baby... Gammon, egg, peas pudding, and a peas. It's another budget meal, folks. We'll see you in a minute. Right, so this is a cheap budget meal, and we're not using potatoes. We could have used potatoes, but this is what you call a low carb budget meal. So rather than have potatoes, we're using the peas pudding. Now, what is peas pudding, Sharon? You got the tin here? It is split yellow peas. Yeah, it doesn't look very appetizing. Look, we've actually opened the tin there, folks. Look, but uh, it's quite thick, but it's basically like, well, as you say, split yellow peas, and I like them. But Sharon's not a big fan, but we're going to cook them up anyway, and they're very low carb. They are, they are carbohydrate, but they're very low carb, contain a lot more fibre, and they're very low on the glycemic index. Anyway, let's have a look at the ingredients, what we're using today. Here are the ingredients to our budget gammon meal. One slice of gammon at two pounds and 50 pence. One 220 gram tin of peace pudding at 50 pence. One egg at 17 pence. 200 grams of garden peas at 22 pence. Total price three pounds and thirty nine pence. Right, so we bought this from a butcher's. This come in at how much, Sharon? Two pound fifty. Two pound fifty. It's quite a big disc. That probably could do two people, but yeah. uh, we're going to use it as a, a two pound fifty piece of meat for one person. And all we're going to do now, we're using the uh, Kasori uh, five point five XXL. Oh, it's quite thick. And yeah, it's quite a thick bit. So we're just going to lay that in there. And we're going to turn that over halfway. And what are we going to put this on for, Sharon? I'm going to put it on um, 200. 200 for about 15 minutes? Yeah, that's like with the turning halfway Yeah, through. so we'll turn it halfway, and then off we go. So that's now started cooking. Washing my hand. Right, OK, Stacy has got a uh, induction hob. We've only got a two one. This is one that's built in the counter. But she's also got this, um, like a silicone sheet, which you can put over the top there, and that protects your actual hob from getting damaged at all. And all we're going to do with a piece of pudding is warm it up in a saucepan. And as you can see, it's quite thick, shall isn't it? Oh, it's hard. Yeah, so I said get a spoon and we'll hook that out of the tin. And as I say, it's quite thick. So we'll let that heat up on the induction hob. Right, we haven't used this one before, folks. This is a new one on us, so how do we turn it on? It's over there, Sharon. I'll put the switch in oh. for it. Underneath, I think. No, that's the oven, the one underneath. That's at the far end, at the other end. This one? Yeah. Is it's it? It's on, it's on. Oh, I don't know. We can't turn it on, folks. We just got our stage how it works. We'll be back in a second. Right, Evie's going to come down. How do you turn it on, Evie? Press this. Right. That yeah. turns it on, then these are your four pans, yeah? Which pan do you want? Well, that we can one, have that one, one there. So we touch that one. That one. And then that. That's your plus and minus. Right, okay, brilliant. Yeah, okay, so we get it now. Thank hey, you. Up. We've had to have a. A young lady come and teach us how to work it. We're not used to it, shall are we? No. So that is how it looks, folks. And as you can probably see there, it is quite thick. Now, I'm not sure whether it will loosen up or not. I think it will do. But fairly enough, you could always add a drop of um, water into it as well, couldn't you, Cher? Right, so we've got that on number four. We'll let that just start to cook off, folks, and see if it does loosen up. Right, now, with the peas, we're just going to put a drop of water, folks. We're not going to... Um, cook them on the hob, we might as well use the easiest way possible and that is to put them in the microwave. So in they go and we'll put them on we for... We don't need them on yet, not to near the end. They'll be done too soon. Right, okay then, fair enough. So all we've got there now is to get the egg ready, Sharon. So there's another hob there. Again, nice and easy to create this one, nice and simple. So we'll just put a splash of um, oil olive oil in the saucepan and we'll just put that back one on low and then take it up to a couple of notches. That do like that. 
So that's fine. We're just going to let that oil warm up, folks, and then we'll uh, come back to you on that one. Right, so we've just added a little drop of water to the piece pudding, folks, because you can find that as it's so dry, it can tend to stick to the bottom of the pan. So um, we've just added probably about two or three tablespoons of water there just to make it flow a little bit better as you can see it's moving about a lot easier now and we'll just keep that warm right so we're about halfway on the gammon let's just have a little look at that and as you can see there the um, fat has started to crisp up around the edge there look so we'll just flip that over you do get so much water come out of modern bacon and gammons right so that's it we'll turn that over now put that in let that continue to cook and that is uh, really creaming up nicely down there folks there we go lovely so we've got that back hob on and we've just got a little drop of olive oil in there so Sharon's just going to crack the um, egg into that and just let that cook away slowly there we go Right, we're vir virtually there now, folks. Can you see now how that has loosened up lovely? So we just added that little bit of water to it and it's done an absolute wonderful job. You have to probably do that sometimes. So as I say, we've just turned the egg up now. That's all coming together lovely. Peas have got about a minute and a half to go. That's got three minutes, so we should be online for a lovely tasty meal very shortly. So as I said to you, we're in the Vegetastic Mum kitchen at the moment. If you don't know Vegetastic Mum, we'll leave a link in the description just below this video so you can go and check her stuff out. She does cook some really fantastic vegetarian food and uh, she's just done one coming out very shortly, which is, um, I think it's bubble and squeak with melted cheese inside. They're like balls. So that one's probably not out yet, but it will be by the time you probably watch this video. But do check her channel out, give her a sub as well. It's a very new channel, but she does some really good stuff. Anyway, I can hear bleeping, there's some action going on. Right, the peas are actually done, and that is red hot. So Sharon will just get them peas out. Right, so there we go. We just drain them peas off. They can go on our plate. Beautiful. So out with a piece pudding, folks. Just lovely dollop on the plate. Now, I do love the flavour of this. A lot of you probably have never had it before or probably won't like the look of it, but do give it a go. It's a cheap tin, and it's also very nutritious and good for you as well, folks. A lot better for you than potato, especially if you're on a low-carb diet. Right, okay, folks, the gammon's now done. And that's looking lovely. Sharon's just going to put it on the plate. There we go. And we're just going to take the egg, and I don't like a sunny side up egg, I like mine over easy, so I just flip that over literally for a few seconds, something like that, get the old spatula underneath it again, and hopefully I haven't broken it, oh, I have broken it. I should think so the way you attacked it, <laughs> just think. Anyway, let's have a closer look at that folks, what do you reckon Shell? Very nice. Well, here we go. This is it, a budget meal. Let's have a little look. We get Sharon to cut into it. Let's get you nearer, come and have a look. Right, so we've got the egg, we've got the gammon, we've got the peas pudding, and also the peas as well, folks. Well, salty? No, it's nice gammon, actually. It's not salty at all. Do you want to try a bit tasty. of the peas pudding? You're not a fan, I know, but no. um, just see what you think of it. No comment? Not for me. No, well, I love it, so I'm gonna go in now. Right, okay. Me, folks, you know, I've gotta go full metal jacket. So I'm gonna cut that egg in two. Now we could have had that um, rind on the gammon a lot more crisper. A lot of you might say, oh, that's not cooked enough. The gammon's cooked perfectly. But if you wanted that to crisp up any more, just leave it in for longer. Depends how you like it. So let's just cut into that gammon. Like that. A little bit there, like that. I've got a bit of that egg there, a little bit of that yolk. I'm gonna be greedy. I'm gonna take half of the yolk on that as well. I'm gonna go like that with the peas pudding because I do actually love it. And I'm gonna immerse it in peas. Now that, Folks, is full metal jacket. Everything's on there. I'm going in. Except the tea and the metal. <laughs> that 
works for me, folks. They're very, very creamy. It is a unique taste. It's not my fault. But it's one I like. If you like butter beans, you will definitely like peas pudding. If you like chickpeas, you'd like peas pudding. The gammon is great. It's a lovely substantial cut of meat there. An egg is an egg, obviously. But altogether, it does work so well. Cheap and tasty, that's what this meal is all about. Well, there we go, folks. Yet again, another cheap, simple, quick and easy meal. The longest thing there was the 15 minutes or so with the, um, gammon. the gammon. The other things, we just left the peas pudding on the plate, as you did see, and the peas. That was cooked a bit before, but if you get your timings right, it can all come together. That's not a problem at all. But all we did there was put this plate, which was uh, the peas pudding and the peas, just whack that in the um, microwave for a minute. Time that comes out, that's red hot, and it's absolutely lovely. Anyway, there you go. You've enjoyed that. Don't forget, do check out Vegetastic Mum. You'll see her in her kitchen here, like we are. We was a bit oh. lost. We was a bit lost because we didn't know where everything was. You can't pronounce his T's, but he goes, ha. And um, you're throwing me now, what was I saying? <laughs> we were a bit lost in the kitchen. Oh. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Thank you. And that was probably someone delivering a, an Amazon parcel off of a list. Vegetastic Mum's wish this list. This is far, shall we? Anyway, thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. Oh, it's for and spicy. Don't, is it? Yeah. It is. It's probably something off her wish list. We'll have that, shall Because we're, we're Vegetastic <laughs> at the moment, aren't we? We're at the door. We'll have it. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to check out our weekend vlog, which comes out every Sunday at 8pm. And also, have a little binge watch of our cooking videos. I think you'll enjoy them. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Bye.